today, come back to another video. And today I'm doing a guitar lesson on how to play Take the A Train, uh, like Jimmy Bruno, of course, very famous uh, jazz guitarist, well known. And I yeah, just uh, took some ideas from Jimmy Bruno, how he plays, or how he plays over the changes of Take the A Train, of course, the famous standard by Duke Ellington. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, if you want a full PDF, uh, like if you want the full tab of this entire lesson in a nice PDF file, you can go over in the link in the description to my pay app and there you can buy it for like two years 50, which is very affordable. And there are like loads of transcriptions from other players like Adrian Mignard, Joshua Stefan, and many more in the future are going to be uploaded there. You can all buy them via my pay app and you can also donate to my pay, pay, uh, PayPal if you, uh, if you wish to do that. So uh, without further ado, let's roll the clips. Okay, so I'm just going to go over the details. I'm not going to like do everything because uh, you have the slow down footage and stuff like that. So uh, just the most important thing. So yeah, you start off with very easy on that G, alternate picking, and then these chords. Yeah, just uh, D minor like. Uh, and then I want to talk about this. So you do. And that's what I'm doing there because I do everything with uh, gypsy picking. So I play it like gypsy jazz right hand technique, that's the only thing I know. Uh, so it's uh, down, up, down, and then a mini sweep, so down, up, down. So on this uh, B and E I play mini sweep and I'm going to, and I'm doing just chromatic, down, up, down, up, up, down. So yeah, and then you come to this really cool uh, lick, so. Yeah, that's just really just, all alternate picking almost so yeah down up down 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 up down down alternate picking and then very important that you play with a down up down down up down down so then it sounds really cool yeah that's the first phrase So then we start with this really cool idea. You have like a whole tone scale over this dominant chord. Uh, it's really cool. Like in Gypsy Jazz, we use a lot of whole tone scales. Like uh, Sebastian Gignot used a lot of whole tone scales on um, on dominant chords. Uh, but anyway, so uh, how I play it, like... I have to excuse my strings for being very old because it's very hard for me to get these strings, like these Argentine strings. I have to order them line. And they can only get them in Antwerp, which is like uh, uh, far away from where I live. So anyway, uh, I do hammer on and then do an upstroke and then that's all just alternate picking, basic alternate picking. All alternate picking. And you want to get that like really bouncy. So you want to get this really smooth. Very short. And then it's, and also a very important detail when you play this. So that's like a mini sweep that I'm doing right here with my right hand. So I'm doing on these two notes. So uh, on this F and G note. So F, G, F, G, F, G. Um, yeah. And then this lick comes. Uh, I also wanted to uh, say something about that. Okay, I'm recording nice. Uh, this is actually one, this is actually my favorite lick in the whole guitar solo. So it's like, what I'm doing there is just a slide and then I'm just sweeping this triad, this minor triad, what, what, what is it? It's 
it's like, uh, yeah, it's an E minor triad, so... <laughs> um, anyway, I'm just sliding that and then I'm sweeping it. Uh, so I'm just I'm uh, sliding, sweeping, up, down. So that's just uh, that's just alternate picking. And then I'm doing doing a me sweep for this uh, for this A and C note. So it's slides, sweep, alternate picking, uh, me sweep, up, up, down. That's the right, the correct right hand technique. Up, up, down. So. Sweep, alternate pick, mini sweep, up, up, down, and then you have this uh, really easy, really easy, and then we come to that's just alternate picking, yeah, and that's the end of phrase two. Okay, that's then followed by that's all down picking so very easy. I'm just gonna roll it. That's also very easy, just really basic strumming, like I'm not gonna explain it right. And then a C major triad, like <laughs> pretty damn. It's really it's really uh simple actually. But it, it sounds great on Take Daydream because Take Daydream is, is, is just a really simple standard. Yeah, it's just two five ones and a, two five one and a bridge. That's like Take Daydream. You can just say it's two five one. Uh, the A parts are like two five ones, and then you have bridge. So that's the only thing you have to worry about. So it's a really simple standard. So yeah, you don't really. Yeah, you can make it complex, but yeah, but, um, but <laughs> yeah, Jimmy Bruno just makes it. Um, yeah, it just sounds great. Those licks. Doesn't have to be complicated all the time. Anyway, uh, and then you have this lick over F, F major, just, just a really simple F major lick, which just sounds great. And I just want to talk about the technique. So, so it's a uh, down. So it's a mini sweep from um, uh, from F, and then a G sharp to A. So it's a mini sweep, and then it's just alternate picking. Uh, yeah, but you play with a downstroke. Yeah, so it's a sweep down, and you start with a down on that uh, B flat. And then uh, hammer on pull off, and then I play. I played with I played as uh, C with an upstroke, so I just do up down up up. So up down up with a hammer on, and then up down. So and then again with an upstroke up down up down up. It's like really strange picking. And then you come to this that you uh, to this part you have to play over like a D7, I think. Yeah, those are the changes. I forgot the changes. Why? No, you play over a D7. And then you can choose what you want to do because I haven't transcribed that part. I just play a D7 idea. So uh, yeah, you can do what you want. Um, you're uh, ending the phrase here, so. So yeah, uh, what I would do is just play it like a G, uh, like D diminished or something like that, like. Maybe end on a on a on a C sharp because that sh that just sounds really cool. So and then this is just chromatic, and then I'm just playing in the C major scale like. But I, I'm also adding like gypsy jazz like notes in there because yeah, it's a style I play. Or you can just play like again uh, D diminished from the root here, and then. Ending 
on a on a G, because that sounds great. Just end on a G, and it, it, you have just a play a phrase. A uh, really uh, easy thing to remember is just play a phrase, a, a D7 phrase, uh, and then just going up. And then just play something in C major. And then end on like C sharp or like G. That's, that's the only thing I do, right? So, but it sounds great. Ending on a G, what else can you do? Like maybe from from F sharp, like, like, hmm. but I don't, like something like that. I don't know, man. You can like, it's like the third from, uh, from uh, D major. Something like that. I'm just improvising now. It's not really like uh, I haven't rehearsed this or anything. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do on that D7. So that's it. Uh, I'll see you in the next guitar lesson if you want the full PDF. Uh, like uh, up until like the F major uh, phrase, uh, you can go to my pay hip. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next guitar lesson. Cheers.